Okay, this video is about how to remove the sticky residue from your Microsoft and Telemouse Explorer. Now, I've been trying to clean my mouse forever, and these rubber grip parts right here on the side seem to get really sticky no matter what you do. I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol, which I read on the internet you should do. Um, I scrubbed it with a scrubby pad, but it, no matter what you do, it stays sticky. And this is only like a year old. It doesn't make any sense. And I guess it affects all the Microsoft mice. This is, I don't think you can see on there, but this is the Intella Mouse Explorer version 2. So what I'm going to do here is I found some 800 grit sandpaper. Wet or dry. I'm just going to use it to lightly sand the, the sticky surface of this mouse. And I'm going to do that right now. I'll come back. Okay, I sanded the black rubber on the side of the mouse. And I don't know what that stuff is. I, I guess it's some kind of coating they put on the mouse that they thought would be better for the user. But for some reason it deteriorates and it becomes sticky no matter what you do or how you wash it. So I mean that's one thing you could do. You could sand it like I did. I'd use some fine grit and I actually switch to some rougher grit sandpaper. I think this is uh, 700 or 600 just to get some of the really sticky parts off and you know I'm gonna rub it with um, some rubbing alcohol but I gotta say I don't think I'm gonna buy any more Microsoft mice anymore um, that's pretty annoying you know, there's no need uh, <laughs> for you I mean why should you have to sand your mouse in the first place right but anyways that's what fixed my, my mouse and um, that's what you could do to yours just get some sandpaper and sand the parts that are sticky um, it's not going to look nice and shiny anymore, obviously, because you scuffed it, but at least um, it'll feel normal. So, there you go.